This Sunday night, the two of them will make history. They'll be performing together for the first time on a Broadway stage. It's a concert to benefit the friends of the theater and music collection of the Museum of the City of New York. Never one to miss an opportunity, Gene Shallot paid them a visit in Ethel Merman's Manhattan apartment. Mary Martin and Ethel Merman have both had enormous hits, long runs. South Pacific ran over a thousand performances. Gypsy ran over a thousand performances. <clears throat> what is it like to do the same show over and over, night after night, twice on Wednesday and twice on Saturday? It's great if you enjoy the show. <laughs> I did. I played Annie almost three years. Three years less two months. Annie Get Your Gun. Uh, Annie Get Your Gun, yes. And uh, I just couldn't wait to get to the theater. The same thing with Gypsy. I couldn't wait for Mama's turn to come up every night because I really look forward to doing it. So you brought the same enthusiasm to it every oh, yes. performance? Oh yes, I... I you, uh, can't, you, you can't keep from it because the audience, uh, or they've waited so long by that time for their tickets. Some, have, some had to wait a year before they could see uh, any and of the shows. Yeah. And they deserve sure. equal excitement. And they generate it. You, you know, you can be sick, you can have colds, you can have everything, and you get on the stage and whammo, they're, it's mm. a, they're so wonderful. Yeah. The show must go on. Must it go on? Have you ever gone on under very unusual <laughs> circumstances when really, by everything rational, you should not even be in the theater that night? Has that ever happened to you, Ethel? Stage? Yes, I remember that when my, my dear, beloved, deceased Ethel was uh, four years old and she had her tonsils removed and she was home and she from the hospital and she, she was allergic to the penicillin. She broke out in hives and, and she was in agony with hives from her head to her feet. And I was an Annie at the time, and she'd say, please, Mom, please stay with me as long as you can. And I remember one day I stayed as long as I could, but I had to get to the matinee. And I remember sitting there with that rifle, saying, um, quick, um, the trigger. You can't get a man with a gun, which is supposed to be a comedy. I'm under the tears are rolling down my cheeks because I was thinking of my little gal at home suffering. Has anything ever happened in the theater that made you break up on stage and just lose your composure? I remember stopping a show once, stopping right in the midst of a show because there were, in Annie Get Your Gun, there was, there was a night performance and there were some people sitting in the first row and they had a, a bottle of booze with them, a pint of booze or something, and they had containers, you know, and they were and they were knocking it off down there in the first row and talking as if there was nothing going on. So I just stopped. I was doing a scene with Ray Middleton yeah. and I just stopped. And I said, can you hear us down there? <laughs> because we can hear you. Now, either, you know, but, Take your booze and just leave the theater, please. And the audience started to applaud, and they get up and they left. And then we went back into the scene. It's so disconcerting when you're trying to concentrate yes. and people are down there talking, and not only that, but lapping up booze. I mean, yes. come on, it's ridiculous. But of course, I don't know where the ushers were. They were probably out at some bar lapping, lapping up themselves. Up <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh. How has the Broadway theater changed, in your view, since what I consider the glory days of the 30s, the 40s, and 50s of the Broadway musical theater. I don't enjoy really going to the theater and coming out and not being able to at least hum something that I've heard on the stage. Uh, I don't know, I think the, the, um, the, 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 the storylines are, are nothing. I mean, I think the, that's a, I'm far from being a prude, believe me. But I don't go to the theater to see nakedness and fall at and hear fall at words. And in songs or in dialogue or whatever it is. People don't take an interest in their appearance going oh. to the theater. They come in blue jeans cut up to here. You know, I mean, they look like they're ready for a, the girls a strip act or something. And a little bra here or something. And these are the people that sit down in the second and third and fourth row in the orchestra. You look in the orchestra pit, the musicians have got white shirts on up to here. They know not even a, a summer jacket on. It's all disappeared. It's not the theater. I don't know that Mary and I knew. It's not the theater that I knew. When you've done a show for a long time, Ethel, maybe you've been in it eight or nine hundred performances. While you're singing a song, can you think of something else? Definitely. It's sort of mechanical. But, uh, but the movement's the same, and, and everything sort of comes out right. But I can be out there. I can be thinking of anything. I mean, when I, you I mean, know. While you're singing a song, Oh, sure. Right up on that, I have to... Let me see, I have to go to Lampson's tomorrow, and I need this, oh, and I need that, or I die. go to the finance market, and I have to get some crackers and some 99% fat-free <laughs> milk, or, I don't know. But meanwhile, you're singing a song on the stage while you're she, thinking absolutely that. Absolutely, the things, and you have to go down, those days, you go down to Macy's, I need this, and I need that, and blah, 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 blah things to do. Mary, can you do that? Can you think of something else while I, you're singing I a song? I can't even bear to think of her thinking of something else. Well, what do you I think could, about getting older? You ever, does I it concern care. you at all? No. I, I, my, my, my age has been in look, peak, square, jerk, everything, Life. you know. 
couldn't care less. No, I could Actually, I it's in, in the magazine, in the Who's Who's Wrong. I How mean, old are you? 63, and it has had me born in 1914. I'm, I wasn't. I'm born in 1930. So you So they're wrong. You are correcting it in the other direction. You are saying you are older than Who's Who says you are. I'm a, I am. A year, I'm yeah, a but year they, they vary. They give you various ages. What age are you using these days? Well, I should, I really should use 65, but they say I'm 68. Well, you just use what you want to use. The heck with it. Mm. You each have kind of new careers now. Ethel, you're appearing with symphony orchestras and you All do over a lot the country. of... Tell about some of the new things you're doing. Well, number one, I'm doing a book with George Eels. An autobiography? That's... Yep. Yep. What, what are you going to call it? Merman. What do you think, Shirley? <laughs> You're such professionals. Are you ever nervous before you go out on a stage, before a performance? Do you think on May 15th, when you go before this special audience for this big benefit together for the first time on Broadway, you think you'll be nervous at all? She won't be. I will. She never is. We know what we're going to do, Mary. Well, I know, but you've been doing it lately. I have. I've been doing it lately. <laughs> you haven't well, done it have. yet. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been on in five no, years. No, we know what we're going to do. We know our lyrics and she, we know everything and so on. And, and it'll be so wonderful. I think it'll be so great. I'm liable to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liable to cry because I can imagine, and I'm going to be just egotistical enough to say this, uh -huh. when we walk down there, uh -oh. what's going to go on in that audience? And I'm, believe me, I don't think we'll be able to go into the first but number. But if you I cry and I can't sing, then we're going to be a charming <laughs> bit there. You know? I'll be a stand -up. I'll be nervous. <laughs> Ethel, no. Ethel. no, you can't be nervous because we... You're we, there. We, no, 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 we do the... I won't be nervous. A lot of the lyrics we do together. If I forget it, you say it, and if you forget I it, I wouldn't I'll be doing this if, it wasn't, if she wasn't going to be there. Oh, come on. I wouldn't. Well, I, wouldn't do I, don't, I don't think I'd be doing it if you weren't there either. <laughs> well, it would be very hard to be together if one of you wasn't there. <laughs> together forever. Oh, we forever go. Together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do, I do. Ethel and Mary, what do you have in your life now that you would find it most difficult to give up? Oh, dear. I don't think I'd want to give anything up that I have now. <laughs> I have, um, I still have my dear father. I still have, um, I have uh, two wonderful grandchildren who were left behind by my deceased daughter, Ethel. I have a son. And, um, I dabble around in Korea, and uh, I'm a very, very happy character. I don't think there's anything that I'd, I'd want to give up. I'd, no, wouldn't want to give up anything. I wouldn't want to give up my newfound life, which has been um, um, difficult to come by with my husband having gone away. And I must say that having, having this chance, and I call it a second chance, to be with my family, which I didn't ever had that much time. Heller would be on the road with us and Annie Get Your Gun and, and, and Peter Pan. But now I have this wonderful, wonderful time with my son and his wife, my adore, and my two grandchildren on the coast and Heller and her three. And uh, we all have, we've all had Christmases together and Easter's together and, and I, I would hesitate ever letting anything come in front of that again. It's been an utter and complete joy. And I don't deserve it, but I'm very, very lucky, and I'm very proud to have this second chance. Well, we'll all be waiting for this big moment, this historic occasion on Broadway. May 15th at the Broadway Theater, the first time ever the two biggest stars mm -hmm. in the history of the American musical comedy, Ethel Merman and Mary Martin, together for the first time on the Broadway stage. That will be so nice. <laughs> Hope you come. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jean. And we'll be back after a message.